Have you ever wanted to remotely connect to your 3D printer and monitor it? Let me show you how. How's it guys? In this video today, I'm going to show you how to remotely connect to your Ender 3 printer or any printer for that matter using a beautiful add-on called Octoprint. Octoprint runs on a Raspberry Pi, which I have over here, runs on a Raspberry Pi and you load it in and it allows you to remotely monitor your printer, start prints, stop prints, uh, even remotely monitor from away from your network outside in the office in the real world. So yeah, it is very useful. I'm going to show you how to install Octoprint and set it up to do an initial print on your Ender 3. In the next video, what I'd like to do is show you how to connect directly to Octoprint from Cura, so which is a nice option. There's many plugins for uh, for Octoprint. We can do Spaghetti Monster, Spaghetti Detective. That's a great uh, add-on where it uses uh, machine vision and machine learning to see if a print has failed. So that's a nice option, but I'm not gonna show you how to install that in this one. I'm just gonna show you how to install Octoprint. So let's get going and let's get this, this installed. So the first thing you're gonna need is a Raspberry Pi, a version 3B or a 4 will, will work really great, and a decent size SD card, at least a 16 gig SD card. Um, you can get away with an 8 gig, but it does limit you a little bit. So rather get a 16 gig SD card and you're ready to go. So I'm gonna pop this in my machine and we will start installing. We go off into the octoprint.org uh, directory. I'll put all the links below for octoprint and for etcher and for anything else that we need to make this work. So we're gonna download octoprint from here, but now I really suggest that you support this project. Uh, click on the link to support it. Uh, there's been a lot of work by Gina on this on this product and it's an absolutely amazing product. It works really well and she does it pretty much on her own. Once you click on the download button, you will click on the download Octopi and you will also need to download Etcher. So you will click on Etcher uh, straight after clicking. So let's click on download Octopi. It will start downloading and I'm gonna download Etcher at the same time. Okay, so we can just start downloading Etcher. It will open up into Etcher. Etcher is used to burn the Octoprint onto the onto the SD card so that you can run it off your Pi. So we can download this as well. Once those have completed downloading, we are going to install Etcher. So let's install Etcher. Once Etcher has been installed, we're just going to go find our downloaded file. So we'll go and open our flash from file. And we open up the zip file straight away. We don't extract it or anything. We just open it directly from there. So then we click on select target and we will find our SD card here. So we select that and we flash. That will burn the entire Octoprint onto the flash drive and get it ready. It'll burn it. It'll verify that it's all correct. And once that is complete, we can continue. Once it's finished, you'll get this where it'll say you need to format the disk on drive E. Do not format it. Just ignore it. Just say cancel it. And that'll be the end of that. We can then open up our folder. Oh, one other thing is it automatically ejects it. So we'll have to just pull it out and put it back in. Do not format. And we'll go to the boot. Right, now in the boot file, we're going to look for the Octopi WPA supplement, supplicant file. You want to make sure that you edit this file only in Notepad. Uh, if you do it in WordPad, you're going to run into problems, so do not use WordPad. Uh, also, you can use Visual Studio Code, but in this case, Notepad is quite easy to use. So we are going to add our wireless network so we can connect to this wirelessly. You can also on the auto, I mean on the Raspberry Pi, you can also connect via an Ethernet cable. So we're going to go in here and we are going to update our network. All right, so we unrem that and I'll put my network ID here and my password. We are then going to save the file 
and that's it so that's all i need to do now for for this to be uh, done and we can now take the sd card out and fire up our raspberry pi a few minutes later so i'm now going to go into the command prompt and do a quick ping of the octo pi.local file uh, and then let's go ip address 4. that'll verify that your your uh, octopi is up and running and uh, we can then see it on the network so from our browser we are now going to go into octopi.local and that will open up our current version of octopi so once you log in for the first time it will ask you to do a setup with it so let's start that next um, I'm going to put my username as source and my password as this. All right. And we're going to say keep access control enabled. Next, uh, you can allow anonymous usage tracking. I usually do that just to uh, to help them track any issues. So you click on that. You can also disable that if you want to. Click on next. Uh, the host IP is. I'm just going to leave it at, uh, at 888. And we're going to get enable. So it will go and check to make sure that it can connect. And it will agree to that. Uh, plug in blacksmith list. I suggest you do this because there are nefarious pieces of software out there. So they do keep a blacklist of ones that are not correct. So we enable the blacklist next and uh, default your default printer settings. So we can set up our default printer. So I'm going to set this up as a, um, I'm going to give it a name of Ender 3. And it is a model of general rep printer. Well, actually, it's a generic Marlin printer. Doesn't matter what you put in here, but I'm. That print bed. Okay, it's a rectangular, it's a heated bed because that's very important. Um, my build volume is two, uh, 220 by 220. By 400 and that's it next and we are all done we can click on finish and Octoprint will boot up now it will automatically log in for you and you can set that it has selected the printer profile of Ender 3 which is the one that we selected at the bottom there we can now plug in our USB cable into the printer and turn our printer on it does automatically turn on when you plug it in because it's getting USB power, but it's better to have your normal power. So we put, turn that on and we click connect. Now it'll attempt to connect to the printer and once it's connected, you'll start seeing some information appear. So we've got the actual temperature of our bed. We've got the actual temperature of our head. We've got control. And you can actually plug in a webcam as well so you can remote monitor, which is really useful. Uh, you can move your your x and y and as i'm moving this my printer is moving so you can actually see that the z is going up i can say move it at 10 at a time move up my head and you can see my head slowly moving over here so i've got full control of my printer now i can upload uh right directly to the raspberry pi and print now i want to add a caveat here right now when you are printing with octoprint if you have a power failure your uh, resume function does not work like the way it does on your normal ender you can overcome this by loading it to your sd card okay uh, so you upload your sd card but i will warn you that is really slow okay that is it, it takes forever to will you stop rising for goodness sake okay we get it you're going all the way to the top sorry i pressed the button too many times so it caches those and just keeps rising so that was yeah okay so now we can put our normal uh prints on here and we can start a print we can monitor the print but it is ready to print uh, you've got a terminal here this is really nice if you want to put in any g code so so guys 
I suggest you go and install Octoprint and give it a try. Run your prints through it. It is really good because I can then run this in my office, in, in my uh, studio over here, go across to my office and run it from over there without... Uh, without it, it, I don't have to come and listen to my printer printing. I don't have to put my stuff on an SD card and dump it into the SD card, run over here, plug it in. I can just start prints here. If I'm monitoring via the webcam, I can see if there's a failure. From that failure, I can then come and um, uh, stop the print, come over and make sure that I remove the print. So there's, this, this is so useful and I don't understand why nobody would want to install this. So guys, install Octoprint. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button as well, and click the notification icon. And also check out my Instagram. My daughter has pushed me to, uh, to get my Instagram started, so now I'm running my Instagram. So go check out my Instagram feed. It's in the description below, and all the links are in the description below. Guys, stay safe, stay well during this period, and check back soon for more videos. Thanks, guys.